One of the leading causes of for divorce or split ups right now that marriage therapists are seeing is that one partner says that even though they're together, they're very emotionally alone. When this happens, one partner begins getting resentful. And it's ironic because during this pandemic, we've been forced to be together more. We're working from home, we're taking care of kids from home, and you're physically more readily available, but emotionally you're miles apart. If you feel like this is happening in your marriage, you feel emotionally cut off from your partner, like you don't even know who they really are, I have five ways that you can prevent this from getting worse and maybe restoring that communication, that emotional intensity that you need so much. The first one is it's important that you don't start criticizing each other. When couples feel resentful or overwhelmed or like they're not getting the attention they need, they begin picking on their partner. They find every little annoying habit. To stop doing this, focus on the one to four rule. That's one negative thing, but four positives. And the more you begin seeing the positive, the more you'll start appreciating the positive. The second one, you begin taking your partner for granted. If your partner's always been there and you're in this pandemic together, it's easy to start focusing on the other issues, work, financial problems, the kids schooling, but you have to keep that marriage front and center. In order to stop doing that, take two minutes in the morning and recall everything you're appreciative of your partner for, and then verbalize that to them when they wake up or sometime before they go to work. Thirdly, you start bringing the outside stressors inside. Let's face it, we all regress during times of stress, and it's a stressful year. We're now looking at storms in the Gulf. We have the COVID going on, maybe financial issues or worries, or where you're going to live. Take care of your stresses. Isn't your partner's problem? It's yours. Create a prayer garden, a prayer chair. Get Join a prayer group online. Meditate. Do yoga. You can go to any park nearby and just start stretching. Take a blanket. Breathe in nature. It's very calming and very good for you. When one person starts feeling like they're doing all the chores, that is a big deal with causing and enhancing excess stress. When you guys first got together, you might have shared the household tasks together, but all of a sudden, it usually falls on one person. To stop that, you need to have a chart and both partners need to be instantly engaged and they need to step up and do their part. And lastly, if you feel like you, every time your partner comes near you, tries to touch you, tries to hug you, you reject them, you better remember that is very hurtful to your partner. And not only that, it increases the stress in you and your partner. Your sexual health is part of your overall health. It's important. If you feel like there's, going, there's something going on with you where you can't enjoy sex or sex is painful, it's important that you talk to your doctor about it. They can refer you to the necessary people, but constantly re rejecting your partner's touch is sure to take your marriage in the wrong direction. It's a time to hug each other, to embrace each other, and to make sure you have each other's support.